On today's Maker Mashup, quick tip, stepper wiring. On today's quick tip, we're gonna be covering a problem I see frequently in our channel Discord. And this problem is that people purchase wires for their stepper and they also purchase a set of steppers and then they don't end up actually working once you've gone ahead and hooked them up to your 3D printer mainboard. And if you've ever run into the problem where a stepper doesn't move or it chatters and you've had a problem with that stepper working in your 3D printer setup, then you know what I'm talking about. A lot of times you have to either buy new wires or different steppers and eventually you have to solve this problem of why your steppers don't work. And I see a lot of people in the Discord that come in there asking how to solve this problem. So first I wanna start by saying it's not your fault. Stepper manufacturers produce steppers in various different ways. Some use a lettering scheme where it's A, B, C, D. Other ones will use an A, positive and negative. Another one will list colors for their stepper wiring and that stepper colors then varies to the next stepper manufacturer, so they're different there as well. So there's a really a lack of consistency, even in the stepper design and when it's produced, on how the wiring should work for it. Now, a lot of them produce schematics, but it really doesn't help you at the end of the day looking at a schematic and saying, how do I hook this to my main board? Wire manufacturers are really not making this problem any better. Some of the colors run in one direction on one set, they run in another direction on another set, and then you have some of the stepper wires where there's a twist in the middle or somewhere in the cable. This I can't even understand, and if somebody knows why stepper wires need a twist, let me know down in the description, I would love to hear it. I've yet to find out where these twists are actually necessary in some of these stepper wires. So with varying wires and varying steppers, you're almost already set up to fail in installing a stepper to a 3D printed mainboard. So unless you know that everything is matched and paired, it's very difficult to just buy these off of AliExpress or Amazon or any other website and know that they're gonna work correctly. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can use some basic tools around your shop. And usually everybody has these available and we'll be able to go ahead and solve this problem and find out how the steppers and the wires work and then correct the wires so that way they will work in your 3D printer build. So with all that said, let's get to work. So the first step in this process is using your stepper and identifying the continuity between each of the coils that are in your stepper. Now, because we're using four wire steppers for 3D printers, usually this is a pretty simple process. You just need to identify one pair and you'll know the other pair. Now, I have a multimeter here and it has a continuity mode in it. And as soon as I touch these together, it will beep. So what you wanna do then is take this and you'll match it up to the wires on your stepper. Now, when you find a pair that the tone is audible, then you can go ahead and see that that is one coil and the other two wires are the other coil. Now, let's say for some reason you don't have a multimeter, you're really not into electronics. If you have an LED laying around, you can do the same thing. So all you have to do is take that LED and use it to match up the pairs and turn the stepper shaft. Now, as you turn the stepper shaft, what happens is it lights the LED. This is gonna be really the first step is to identify each one of those coils. Okay, so now we know that we have two sets of coils and we've identified each set of coils, but the problem still exists that we don't know how these wires are going to work in our build. So what I'm gonna show you here is that I use a paper template and this is really simple. So what I'm gonna do is use two sets of steppers. The first stepper is going to more or less emulate the power coming from the main board. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the two sets of wires and match it up to the one and two on the piece of paper here. So basically what I'm creating is more or less a virtual main board that I'll be able to supply power with. Now I'm gonna take these wires and hook them to the other stepper. Now here's where the magic happens. What I'm going to do now is to turn the shaft on the first motor and that's going to generate the electricity to turn the second motor. Now, if your motor turns the right direction, you know that those stepper wires are gonna work okay. If for some reason, the stepper does not turn that shaft properly, like you can see here, 
then what you've got is a scenario where you have to go in and fix these stepper wires. Now, fixing the stepper wires is a little difficult, but it's a pretty simple process at the same time. What I usually do is I go ahead and I will take the edge of a very small screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and I'll use that to push down the retaining pin of the clip that goes into the JST connector. Then I'm able to reorder this in the direction that I need in order for it to match up with the main board properly and generate the power to the stepper in the right way. So now that you've gone ahead and got one stepper and stepper wire working together properly, the rest is really just repeating the process on the rest of the steppers. So I hope this video was helpful for you to sort out your stepper wiring problem. I know I've had this problem so many times I couldn't even begin to tell you how many times I've either had to fix wires or purchase different wires depending on the situation. And this sort of video, had I had it years ago, would have been very helpful. So I'm hoping that this video was very helpful for you. If it was, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to share and subscribe so you don't miss another one of our quick tip videos. If you need help with this project or any other project, consider reaching out to our channel Discord. We're over 700 members strong and there's a lot of really smart people in there that can help you out getting through this issue and any other issue that you might have with your 3D printer build or any other maker issue. We've got people that work on lasers, CNC, it's a really great community and I suggest checking it out. So I also wanna give a big shout out to all of the patrons that help support the channel. Their support really makes these ongoing videos possible. If you'd like to consider becoming a patron, please check out the link in the description below. And with all that said, I wanna say thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.